It's a nice thing to be referred to as an entrepreneur. Yeah. But everybody else around you that is helping the business go must demonstrate that as well. This is my opening. I am Victor Shadrach Natekwechu and welcome to the channel. Today on Entrepreneurship with Kwecho, guess who I'm going to meet? I didn't tell you, but there are giants in this country, Ghana, who are doing amazing things and lovely things, sitting on boards, sharing companies to change Ghana and Africa. Today, I'm here to meet Dr. Susie Aku Popolambo, who is the CEO of Obtain DC. Fund management and investment company. Go and have a seat with her. Let's hear what she got to say. Welcome to Quetcho Global. Thank you. And thanks for having me want to share your story with us. First of all, tell us about Octane DC. How did it start for you? Octane DC, that's a very long story, but I'll try to make it very short for the time that we have. I must say it's a dream come true. Over the years, I've been positioning myself to at a certain point in my life to own something that I can say it's my own. Yeah. So over the years, I have learned to align myself with an interest area that I'll be so excited about to own and to grow yeah. and to see the output. Yeah. As I went through investment banking, I found more love towards managing high net worth individuals an area that we describe as niche yeah. in investment banking. Yeah. And that required some level of engagement in terms of intellectual capacity yeah. and experience yeah. to manage people who have a bit more money and can afford to put it away over a longer period. Okay. In my working life, with my background from data bank, I came to the realization that for me to position myself to drive this agenda, yeah. I needed to branch out yeah. and begin to focus on just a group of people that over the years I can say I have been accountable to. So Octane DC actually started from Octane SD okay. as a business that was owned solely by me. Yeah. Along the way, I had some shareholders coming on board just to broad broaden the shareholder base. But as life will have it, life happened yeah. along the way i had an interest that was driven towards me from dealers capital for us to match and begin to collaborate on a larger scale so i'll say octane dc is a merge business between octane sd and dealers capital okay so the dc there is dealers capital okay and the octane there it's from octane sd okay since you are the ceo of octane dc and then reading your profile, I read that you, you've worked with huge companies. Yes. Companies that I didn't know. Me, even knowing you, I didn't know that until I read your profile. <laughs> Tell us some about three things that you've learned, lessons, experience, uh, through the time being in data bank and the few companies that you've work, worked with. Yeah. Tell us the lessons you've learned from there. And then there's some experiences that we can know and work with. I've always driven the agenda yeah. that is good to serve under masters. There's always something that you learn working with people yeah. that you may not acquire if you begin working just by yourself. So service is key service, to being a CEO. Service is key availing yourself okay. to learn under others that have done it over the years mm. and, ahead, and are ahead of you. Mm. It's very important mm. because you don't want to repeat certain mistakes. Mm. Of people who have started before us. So not so only service, not only service, but submission. Submission, learning to respect 
authority. Okay. It's very important. Okay. And you only get that done if you avail yourself to serve other people mm. before. And I've mm. done this over the last 15 years. Wow. I have worked with other people to learn the traits in investment banking yeah. before I had the strength to say, now I am ready to start this all by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Being a woman and being the CEO, <laughs> a mother of four, three, two girls and a boy. Two girls and a boy. That is, that is so much to carry. Tell us how you are able to handle that at home, work, and children. You remember I mentioned something about having the love for what you do? Yes. I have love at home, I have love at the workplace. For the work I do in investment banking, I love it. Yeah. So I'm happy to wake up every morning to come to work. Yeah. And for the people I serve in my home, that is my children and my spouse, I am happy to yeah. do that always. Yeah. So at both places, I have created that room yeah. or the opportunity to be happy. So when I'm home, I'm happy. When I'm at work, I'm happy. So I don't have any conflict in terms of work-life balance. That means you have a good support at home. I do. Wow. I do. And I'm very happy that my husband has supported me mm. to allow me to bring it to our home, the needed support. Mm. That can give me that room as a career woman to still push my agenda as an entrepreneur and still succeed as a wife and a mother at home. How, how, how? I'm, I'm being forced to ask you some questions <laughs> right now because I want to know, as a woman, mm -hmm. I'm saying this as a woman mm -hmm. because, you know, it is believed that women get the least opportunity. How, how were you able to just rise up all the way to be able to get here? My mind is trying to... <laughs> I haven't trying limited to... myself in life for whatever reason. Marriage didn't limit me, okay. pregnancy didn't limit me, okay. children didn't limit me. Okay. And I think I have succeeded, especially raising my three kids because I have allowed myself to bring the needed support home. Mm. That is the only way I can manage the workload I have when yeah. I have to go to work. Yeah. So it has played, importantly, is the support yeah. of your spouse. Yeah because your husband must be able to lead the way mm. as a wife, mm. as a career woman, and then encourage you. Yeah. So that has helped over the period. Okay, we're in lockdown, we're mm -hmm. in COVID, mm -hmm. we're in lockdown mm -hmm. and all that. How did that affect Octane Daisy as a business, especially in the financial sector? How did that affect We were us? very innovative in our approach. Okay. A number of our engagements were already being executed online. We were holding meetings via phone, and all that before COVID came in. Yeah. So it was very easy for us to adjust okay. in terms of virtual engagement, even with our clients okay. and our third parties. So the adjustment wasn't too complicated for us. And our set setup is such that we have or we own our own little space. Okay. So we could implement social distancing even when we began physical yeah. engagement in the yeah. office. So COVID didn't really impact the operations, I may say. What it's impacted was more of the business growth. That everybody now had COVID on their mind. Yeah. Nobody was interested in investment discussions. They need about creating wealth or growing yeah. your portfolio. Yeah. So everybody wanted, okay, let's wait for COVID to yeah. come and pass. Yeah. But operation-wise, we were still okay. We still engaged with the regulator. We still engaged with our association, yeah. our clients, our partners. That was easy for us. Yeah. But in terms of growth, I would say we were impacted. Wow. And nobody was spared. Everybody wow. was impacted. Wow. And Obtain DC being an investment, a fund investment company, oh. these days people are looking to invest in their money when wisely. It, when it comes to investments, everybody, whether you're an individual, okay. an institution, or a group, okay. anybody should invest. So I can, a, I can invest yes, myself? Yes, you can. Okay. And I keep saying that you don't need a lot of money to invest. Okay. It's just that determination to begin to be consistent and persistent about something. Okay. And understand the need that if you do not invest, you can't create wealth. Okay. There's nothing like working without putting money aside. Yeah. You build that discipline. Even if you're a Christian and you begin to pay tight, you build that discipline. Yeah. So it's a whole concept of commitment to a cause, knowing that whatever you earn, at least 10% of it must be put away. And the emphasis here is consistency. Okay. You must be consistent about the okay. attitude of putting money away. Okay. Okay. Tell us a little bit about money. And then <laughs> I want to I want to see how the good or the bad part of both. money. I mean you can make it you can make it one on one or two or two. Shandra, <laughs> I want to know a little bit about money. Shandra Gabba <laughs> said that when you wake up in the morning and you leave your home, you have money on your mind. You are, you are, you are going out 
to do something and yes. to earn something. Yes. So everybody likes money. If you have money, you're okay. You begin to think about other things that it's concerned about your life. Yeah. So it's good to think about money. It's good to know how to make money. Yeah. It's good to know how to make more money. Yeah. That's the only way you create the wealth. So making and more then, money is not bad? No, it's not bad. But when you make more, mm -hmm. you must learn to give out some. Okay. So that is it. The satisfaction is giving out some okay. and seeing the transformations that will happen in other people's lives because you have given out some. Okay. So you don't make all of it so, and so, it stays around you. So when you say giving out some, what do you mean by giving, us, giving out some? Everybody must have support for generation on their mind. Okay. Everybody must have legacy okay. on their mind. Everybody must have generational impact okay. on their life. You leave this world, you want to be remembered for something. Absolutely. So what did you do for your family, your friends, your community, your society, your country? What did you do? Was it all about you? Or you had other people in mind. Yeah. So generational thinking, transformational thinking is a good part. Yeah. And for so many people, beyond creating so much wealth, the joy is seen in what they give out. Yeah. And what they give out, how it has transformed yeah. other lives. Yeah. You tell a young lady sitting out there watching you right now, what would you tell that young lady who is probably in some dilemma? who doesn't know what to do or looking out for something, what would you tell that young lady to be able to get to where you have gotten to and even climbing more on the ladder? Don't be afraid. Okay. Don't give up your dream. Don't say this is only cut out for men or okay. for boys. Okay. So I cannot do it. Okay. No. I worked with Data Bank for seven years. Yeah. That has, within that seven years, I was promoted four times. Wow. It's possible. Wow. I didn't leave it there because it's only available for men to do. So don't restrict yourself because you're a woman. Yeah. And don't restrict yourself because you're married, you have children, mm. you are pregnant, so you can know. Just keep pushing. Once you have the energy, just keep pushing. Yeah. And the most important, have a vision board yeah. and decide where you want to be by a certain stage in your life. Yeah. And just keep working at it, keep working at it. You'll surprise yourself yeah. that five years will pass, 10 years will pass, and there's something you can look back on and you are very proud of yourself. Absolutely. So hold on to your dreams, let your fears go, own your mornings, elevate your days, and you'll be a perfect person. It doesn't matter whether you are a girl or a boy, a man or a woman. Yeah, yeah. Now, where can we find Octane Days if anybody is looking to want to come <laughs> and invest their money? Because, I mean, hearing this, I'm looking to start, start investing Please, some few. You'll start before you leave. You'll start before you leave. So tell us yeah, where. We are in East, East Legon. The yeah. landmark is Mickling Hotel or okay. the French School, okay. number 12, Asmara Street. Okay. You'll find us. Now everything is virtual, everything Absolutely. is online. Absolutely. So you don't even physically have to come to our office to find us. You go online, you google octandc.com, yeah. you go to our website www.octandc.com and there's so much information about yeah. us. Our phone numbers are there, our emails are there, you can engage with us anytime. Yeah. Come along and let's help create a new story about ourselves and about our wealth and about our independence. Yeah. Plus the product that you have that now that I'm looking to invest, I can pick a particular one to invest in. We have three main products. Okay. One is the mutual funds. Okay. And even within the mutual funds, we have categories. Okay. We have a bond fund, we have a money market fund, and we have a balance fund. Okay. With as low as 50 CDs on a monthly basis, you can begin to invest in any of the mutual funds. Okay. Then we also have what we call portfolio accounts that are designed for high net worth individuals. Okay. People who have a minimum of 100,000 CDs and above and are looking for a longer term investment okay. portfolio to be built for them. So those we attract and manage for a period of a minimum of three years. Then we also have pension funds. Okay. So we work with pension fund administrators to, ma to manage pension funds on behalf of institutions and yeah. individuals. Yeah. Those are the products that we have. Okay. So the, is it bond? The bond fund. The bond fund. Yes. Uh, Listen that a bit for us. Well, so. the bond funds are, it's, an, it's a mutual fund. Okay. And the investments are purely in government bonds. Okay. So we call it a bond mutual fund. Okay. So when we when we mobilize the monies from individuals or institutions, okay. the investments are done 
on government bonds. Okay, so when somebody is looking to invest, must the person look at profits, interest, or what should the person look at I'll if you want to invest? There are three things that come to mind when you be, want to begin to invest. One is your age. Okay. One is your investment objective. Second is your investment objective. And third is your risk appetite. Okay. So even within those three options you have in the mutual fund, the conversations will be drawn on your investment risk. Yeah. How much risk you want to take. Yeah. And then your investment objectives, what you are looking for. But the risks correlate positively with returns as well. Okay. So we engage, you understand your needs better. We are able to guide you okay. as to which option you should okay. take. Yeah. Okay. So typically, I would say returns should be the main reason or the main focus to invest. But it's more of managing future needs. Okay being prepared for anything that will happen in the future. So you want to be able to consistently put something away, of yeah. whatever you are putting out, because it's not a saving account, it's an investment account, you want to get some appreciable returns on okay. it. So for all the funds that we have, the benchmark is a treasury boss, and we always do something about treasury boss for okay. our, our clients. Okay, to make more money. Please do. Do you believe <laughs> entrepreneurship is the future? It is, but one thing I don't really like about entrepreneurship is the fact that it is only the vision bearer that must be the entrepreneur. No. Mm, mm. As a CEO, I must not only be the entrepreneur in the business. Mm. Everybody else must think like a business owner. Absolutely. As a head of department, as security, as a fund, you must think. So everybody must see themselves as an entrepreneur in the business. You don't have to own it. You don't have to be the vision bearer. You don't have to be the majority shareholder. Yeah. But the fact that you are part of the business, you must think like the business owner. Mm. You must think like the CEO every time. Mm. So yes, it's a nice thing to be referred to as an entrepreneur. Yeah. But everybody else around you that is helping the business go must demonstrate that as well. Thank you very much Thank you for too. having us. Thank you. Truly really appreciate your time. Thank you.